Hey everybody, welcome back to Cars and Guitars. Back on the uh, Beaumont here. I uh, got a patch put in there and uh, quite a few patches in there. So I would make like an outside patch here, cut it out of the way to make the next patch, cut that out of the way and keep going to like get them all made up and then I can start welding them back in. And I got uh, part of the floor support here was rotten so I Got that cut out and I got a new piece there ready to uh, butt weld in. So I'll do some plug welds there. And uh, I'll clean up inside there first and uh, put a bit of paint in there to seal it up before I weld that piece in. And uh, like I always mentioned about the aftermarket parts, I got the, this side of the uh, trunk pan in and you can see where the old mount is. There's a gap in here. I can put my hand in it. It's about inch and three quarters there, away from the the support where this has to go onto. And then I can put my inner tub in there, which is over there. It won't fit in there right now because this has to be cut and bent back in. So that's going to take a little bit. So that's uh, what I was talking about for aftermarket parts. They never 100% just not drop in and start welding. You got to make them fit. But it's still coming along. Then I'll get that tub in there. Then I can make a piece for the end of the rock. And here's rotten. And then I'll sandblast in here a little bit uh, before I weld that quarter on. Because there's a bit of rust obviously on the edge here. And it's going to uh, come out later once I get that quarter on. You can see it there. So I got to sandblast a bit in here. Clean it up and paint it before we uh, put that quarter on. But other than that, coming along, I just gotta get this piece welded in here for now. And then I'll get onto this uh, floor pan and then I can start putting the uh, inner tub, the outer tub, then I can start getting that quarter on. So just a quick update on uh, what's going on on the Beaumont here. Like I said, quite a few patches. That's why I don't give estimates. Once you start tearing stuff apart, you always end up finding more and more. So then you end up uh, into uh, trouble with the customer because he wants you to stick to your price. So that's why I don't give estimates. I lost quite a few jobs over the years over that, but uh, I'd rather lose a job than get uh, stuck on one or you end up working for free or you gotta start cutting corners to get the job done at the price you gave the customer. Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching Cars and Guitars, I'm John Bluen.